Hi, my name is Cassandra and I'm a kinesiologist. Today I'm going to be leading you through some medium or intermediate level exercises to manage your lower back pain. They're going to involve strengthening, stretching, and mobility. Now, it's important to consult your healthcare provider if you're starting a new exercise program and if you have pre-existing conditions. Remember to keep all the exercises pain-free and comfortable and breathe through the movement. Let's get started. Okay, let's start with the warm up. For this set of exercises, you're gonna need just yourself and a mat. You're gonna start by lying down on your back. And we're gonna do the mobility exercise called pelvic clock. You're gonna do about 10 or so. What you're gonna do is flatten your back against the mat first, squeezing your glutes, Bring, tucking in your belly button. Then you're gonna slowly arch and alternate between those two. That's called a pelvic tilt. You're also going to shift your hips left and right, side to side. You can do that in order, up, down, side, side, making a big cross. And you're gonna do about eight to 10 here. Now you're going to take one leg up to your chest and the other leg down to the floor. You're gonna hold your knee to your chest for about 20 to 30 seconds. Great, you're gonna switch here. Keeping that other leg right down on the floor. Perfect. Now you're gonna go onto hands and knees. This is what we call four point. And you're gonna do a cat camel. Okay, well now remember with all of these exercises, make sure to keep them comfortable, keep breathing and pain-free. So what you're gonna do is round the back here, tuck your belly button in and arch. And you're gonna do about 10 here as well. Perfect. Okay, now you're gonna go down to your stomach. And this is what we call a cobra or a sloppy push-up. So what you're gonna do is you're only gonna go up onto your elbows. The resting position is here, down, face right onto the mat. And then you're just gonna shift your elbows up and extend your back as comfortable. Hold for about five, six seconds here and you're gonna go back up. Now remember, you can always manage the range here by going less far and holding for less time. Great. Last exercise, you're going to move back onto your back. And you're gonna do some gentle rotation side to side with your knees. So feet nice and supported on the mat, knees together, and you're just gonna go over to one side just as comfortable. Having the hands relax on your stomach or to the side is great. Perfect. There you go, you're nicely warmed up. Ready for the exercise portion. Okay, let's get started with the intermediate exercises. For these exercises, you're gonna need a band, a mat, 
and a dumbbell. Let's get started. So first grab your dumbbell and you're going to be holding it just on the one side. This is called a suitcase carry. You're gonna be marching your legs and you're gonna try and keep your center of your chest right in the middle as you switch legs, okay? So staying nice and tall, you're gonna march with that weight. And you're gonna do 10 steps in total. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect. Put the, mat, uh, put the weight away and then you're gonna go down to the mat. You're going to do a dead bug motion, but just with the legs. What that means is you're gonna be lying down on your back, no arms here. The loop is gonna be around your feet and you're gonna have your knees at 90 degrees parallel with the floor, okay? What you're gonna do is stretch one leg out in front of you and keep the other knee up and tuck to your chest, resisting the band. and you're gonna alternate, making a cycling motion. You're gonna do 10 here, four, five, keep going. Remember to keep your back neutral on the mat here. Perfect. Okay, bring your legs down, band off to the side. You're now gonna do a side plank off of the knees. So the positioning for the side plank is your knees stacked here at 90 degrees. You're gonna have one long line, shoulders, hips, and knees all aligned. Elbow is tucked to just a little bit more than you think. Underneath your shoulder, you're gonna align out as you lift your hips. So keeping those hips forward, belly button in, engage the core, and you're gonna lift up into a side plank. So you've got one long line here. You're gonna hold for about three to five seconds, come back down. You're gonna lift, down. Now this other hand across the chest or on your hip is great. Good feeling all that work here on the inside. Okay, you're gonna switch to the other side. Now, if you want more of a challenge, you can increase the time that you're holding. So have that nice setup again, knees aligned, knees, hips, and shoulders. Tuck your elbow in. Good. Now, if you're feeling discomfort in the shoulder, do a little bit of a shoulder blade squeeze before you start. That'll help set the shoulder blade in its spot. You're gonna do about eight to 10 lifts here of three to five seconds. Good. Okay, now returning back onto your back, you're gonna do a bridge variation, which involves the marching of your legs. So you're gonna get into a bridge position first with both legs, bring your belly button in, squeeze the glutes and lift your hips. Now, without letting your hips drop or twist, you're gonna be lifting one leg off of the floor, about five to six centimeters. You're gonna keep your hips up and switch to the other leg. Let's do 10 steps here.
Perfect. If you're feeling it a little bit in your low back, just drop your hips down a little bit and remember to squeeze your glutes. Come on down. Thanks for joining me today. For best results, try doing these exercises once daily or once every second day. Do them one to two sets of about 10 reps and keep them pain-free.